It's been really special to see my children grow up in the church and um, in a sense to like, I mean, I know when they're older, they'll probably have their own moments where they have to really wrestle and, and understand, you know, why they believe what they believe. But it is amazing to see them grow up in the church and experience the sacraments and um, honestly, what a gift for them to have confession, like to be able to have the sacrament of reconciliation from a young age. Um, I just know growing up, I definitely would often just be racked with guilt over things and just let that you know, go to bed at night and all of a sudden those big questions <laughs> come and I think about my sins and, and I know growing up, I would regularly be going back to the same things and confessing them, you know, praying and confessing and, and then like feeling overcome with guilt again later. And I just think what a gift that our kids can grow up with the sacrament of reconciliation and to hear the words that they're forgiven. And um, I think that's really an amazing thing. And then, you know, uh, to see them receiving the Eucharist is just so special. Um, it's been really fun. The whole, like, mentality of, like, liturgical living Um I'm not a homeschooler, but I do like to kind of pull out certain things throughout the, throughout the church year and have special meals at home or read certain children's books on saint days and do all of those things to really, um, make, make the faith come alive for them. I spend a lot of time with my children. I mean, exp obviously we talk about the faith. We explain why we believe what we believe. Um, I think I always have an eye towards my own past and my own like pride of I've got the answers and, um, and, and so I'm afraid of my children developing that same sort of intellectual haughtiness and, and, you know, wanting to feel like they have it. A lot of what I explained to my children does come from what I learned through my own investigation process. I'm like, well, why do, why do we believe that? There's also a lot of, especially as they get older, them recognizing that like we worship differently than, than my parents and then my, than my in-laws and wondering, well, like, why do they do it that way? And why do we do it this way? And, um, so answering those kind of questions, I think, I think probably helps prepare them. Um, but there's a little bit where like as a parent, I know there's like all of these, like how to keep your kids Catholic and these kind of resources, which I think all have probably like some value, but I've always kind of rested in this idea that like, each of my children is an individual soul and God loves them individually and I can't make them love him. I can show them how and I can, um, I can, t you know, like teach them the facts about what we believe versus what we don't believe and I can teach them why. But yeah, I can't, I, I think recognizing that like, I can't do that part for them. I can't, do the part where they're going to have to figure out it for themselves. And I've thought sometimes like, well, what if they decided to become Reformed Baptist or what if, you know, and, and maybe that will happen. But, um, but yeah, it's been interest. It's interesting as a parent, like trying to figure out and, and I think having been a convert, I'm a little less afraid of my kids not growing up exactly like me because I know because I know from my experience it, that it's not a rejection and that you do come by it honestly 